Hi everyone and welcome to Coin Treasure Hunt. If you'd like to learn a little about the objects, faces and places on the back of UK circulated coins, find out which commemorative coins are rare, sought after and worth more than face value, and to seek out the hidden treasures a lot of people miss, or you just love coin hunts, hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen now. So today in this 50p coin hunt we're going to look for commemoratives, low mintage, territories and coins not intended for circulation. Now, yeah. new bag. Time to open it up. Hopefully there's some rich treasures to find inside. Oh, let's dig out. Five bags. Five bags because I do a quick 100. Quick 100 because there's 100 coins in five bags. Right, our 50p coin hunt. Let's dive in. I had a brilliant, um, did a 50p versus two pound coin hunt last time and had some awesome finds. Check out the video and you'll see sometimes treasure does arrive in very small amounts and uh, certainly got some cracking coins in that one. So definitely worth a watch that one. Right, I'm going to put shields and Britannias off to one side. I'll mix them up as usual. <laughs> um, I'm going to check for, uh, good grief, another one. Mangled coin again. <laughs> Always getting mangled coins. Yeah, put them off to one side to find, um, have a look for uh, 2008 Britannias and 2017 Shields. Or even um, the wildly outside chance of an NIFC date, not intended for circulation coins, which are 9, 10, 11, 16 and 18. Oops, one jumping away. Mostly Britannia's in this one. It's a bit battered. Nothing to report in the first bag. That's the crazy world of coin hunting. You never know. You know. Sometimes they're absolutely amazing. <laughs> Sometimes it's a complete disaster. It just is. And as I said, that's what makes you sort of, well, it makes me come back for more, you know. Not saying that I want to get a disastrous bag by any chance. But, um, you know, it swings and roundabouts, doesn't it? It swings and roundabouts. What are you, 2000? Oh, for a minute there, I thought it was 2016, which is a potential date for an NIFC. 2008. Are you a Britannia? No, you're a shield. Oh dear. Two bags in. Third bag. I'd be more than happy. More than happy with even half as good as last time. <laughs> Coin gods, if you're listening out there, <laughs> even half as many. <laughs> We go. Let's get a bit of focus. Ah, oh, there we go. 2017. It's got to be something. What are you? Bad Benjamin Bunny. <laughs> Thing about uh, 2019 or 2017 is it's Beatrix Potter set come out in that year, and it's the highest mintage Beatrix Potter set. And you're a shield. There we go. Christopher Ironside. Pretty good condition one. And a high mintage one. So. Well, reasonably high. Not as high as Benjamin, of course. Benjamin is a crazily high mintage. So, nothing to write about home about so far. Ah, I was about to put that one away. The dictionary. Again, a high mintage coin, so... But again, as I say, it's nice to find commemoratives. You know, that's why... I do the hunts to find them. Obviously it's always very special to find uh, really low mintage ones or just ones I love the designs of. Nope, these are a bit all over the place in here. Take a few dips to get them. Yep. <laughs> There must be something good in here. Good in here if they were uh, 
the higgledy piggledy in there, surely. <laughs> Wishful thinking on my behalf, I think. And there, the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. Not a good condition one though. Doesn't have the date on the front. 20th. So I found a few commemoratives, but as yet. Oh, cool. That's really nice. It's a really, really nice find. I haven't found one of them in in quite a while, actually, I've got to say. Or have I? Maybe I have. I don't, th I don't think so. I just haven't seen this coin in a while. I love this coin. I know what it was. I um, When I put the video out of my best finds in January, we found one. So, yeah, delighted. Absolutely love this design. It's such a terrific design. So much going on. Such good ideas. Lovely. Kind of... Um, it's a bit, what's the design remind me of? Art Deco sort of kind of style. Wonderful, wonderful organisation, obviously. Keeps us all fit and healthy or tries his best to. Oh, you heard it. Gleamy. Have you noticed the way the 2013s, they look different? You know, I know it's not a special date. I think it's actually the lowest minted shield as it happens. But, um, well, circulated shield. But they're all, they're, they're very funny sheen off them. Have a check yourself and see. And I think you'll notice that. Good grief, that's a grubby one. I think you'll notice that they are, you know, very, very sort of odd sheen off them. If I take, I'll take up two later and show you just two shields and I'll show you the difference. I mean, that one is particularly weird in its sheen. Another one all over the place. Surely there's another good one in here then. I can get an hour to get these ones <laughs> What's a wasting us in here? Of course I've mixed them all up again. And the 2012s. Not as bad though. In 2019. I'll tell you what I haven't had in ages. Sherlock Holmes. I'm starting to think that's quite possibly rarer than I, I said. You know, there's a very shiny one. Ooh, 2017. Please don't be a Benjamin. Sorry, Benjamin, but a shield would be fabulous. Ooh, Peter Rabbit. Nearly as uh, nearly as common as Benjamin. 19,900,000. A shield, on the other hand, is very, very low mintage. 1,800,000, so. Oh, you're a 2008. Could you be a Britannia? Nope, shield. Sure. <laughs> of course oh there we go another dictionary double dictionary 2014 to finish now it's time to go through the um, Britannias and the Shields which I've mixed up as usual and look for those dates that I told you about I didn't get any um, NIFCs or uh, those key dates Oh, hey, oh, that's the way it is sometimes. Now, I had a look again, <laughs> and upon reflection, I found another um, 2013. And actually, um, yeah, I think there's something wrong with the coin on the left, this one here. This really one with the weird sheen off it. Um, if you look, you'll notice a lot more detail in the hair area and the crown and stuff like that. It's basically devoid of any sort of hair curls or anything like that on the portrait of the queen. So, yes, I think, well, one or two things. It's some sort of weird uh, mistrike. There's something wrong. Or, um, more likely, it's a fake. But the weird thing about it is, is the back of it is 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 perfect. I mean, it, it literally looks, you would not think under any circumstances that was a fake if you looked at it from the back. So I'm not 100% sure. What do you think? Um, definitely the front, there's definitely something, whatever it is, I've no idea, but there's definitely something wrong with it because it shouldn't have that weird sheen off it. Um, it feels even different and the hair, as I said, the detail in the hair and the crown is nowhere near what it should be. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. That'd be great. Now on to what we got. We had Benjamin Bunny. What would a hunt be without Benjamin? Um... <laughs> let's not continue on that conversation and then we had the tale of Peter Rabbit uh, both very high mintage both of the 2017 set um, 25 million and 19 million 900 thousand respectively 
Uh, Christopher Ironside, seven million. This could have been the back of the of the ones, but it wasn't chosen. And now it's a commemorative. The dictionaries should have came before that, so we had um, double dictionary delight. Uh, but over seventeen million, I think seventeen million six hundred and forty-nine thousand. And then we had the Glasgow Commonwealth Games in twenty fourteen, and that's uh, six million five hundred thousand. And the star coin of the day is our NHS coin. Beautiful design, well, great organisation. Where would we be without the NHS? And that was minted in, as you can see there, in nineteen ninety eight. So. Now, just about an hour in the next few seconds, you should see uh, a few suggestions from YouTube as to videos you might like to watch if you've enjoyed this one. And up in the right-hand corner, you'll see the beautiful X marks the spot 10p coin that will help you to subscribe. In the meantime, I wish you happy hunting. Or oh, I should add, if you want to keep up to date with my regular uploads, just go to the channel page and hit that uh, notification bell and it'll help you do that. So in the meantime, take care everybody and I'll see you for the next coin treasure hunt. Bye-bye.